Welcome back everyone, mga Kapromdi. I am very happy that you are with me again for this content. Basically, this is unplanned. And while I was browsing through my phone, I came across one news in the Philippines which is about the implementation is in that uh, post in social media a very funny photo showing a tall kid seated on a booster and his head is almost reaching the ceiling of the car I know maybe there are a lot of Filipinos right now who are um, not happy. Um, I'm also reading today that there are chances that uh, the implementation will be postponed. But it really interests me to read a lot of information around this topic and maybe share with you the details of it. And then somehow I will share with you um, how is it done? Uh, very basic information for the Netherlands. A little disclaimer to everyone. We don't own a car. And for a long time, I am now 40 years old. I was not convinced that I need to buy a car. The public transportation is serving us efficiently according to our basic needs and that is enough. So when I speak to you or share with you something related to this, it is um, coming from what I read um, and not from personal experience. So there may be chances that you will see me uh, reading a lot. It's because I really wanted to be factual and accurate uh, to what I am sharing uh, with you. So, I hope you don't mind if you see me browsing my phone. Yeah? Um, so, I hope it's clear. I'm not the expert in this topic. And if you happen to be one, please comment. Um, in the comment box below and I would be very happy to see that one yeah safety you know guys traveling you should always put safety first you have less chances to die when you are wearing a seat belt during an accident a car accident because the chances of you being ejected to milapon then mauntog um, sa uh, sa loob o to uh, yeah sa sa glass ng ng car um, is very small compared to when you are not restrained by a seat belt. Now, um, is seat belt enough? Um, we might argue that of course you can just have seat belt for. Um, for children but actually the truth is and we know this logically we are of different sizes and that's the problem so for example the car will have a standard um, seat belt size height and then length um, and it would be difficult of course may maybe for for car companies to have um, a very special um, seat belt to to adopt to any size of a child so what is available in the market right now are added protection for those that are not yet according to uh, the size that the standard seat belt protection can provide for so there are these um, um, products called child restraints. I myself 
uh, is required to use child restraint when I give birth to Brutus. Even if, even that we don't use our car. We actually use a taxi, but we need to have a child restraint. So we bought it because we were not be accepted by the taxi here to go home without that one. Um, yes, I am surprised, but I need to follow it just to make sure that um, we reached home safe and that we avoid walking because when you just give birth it's very difficult to to walk now child restraints according to some data that i have seen actually the child restraint is a lot more effective than seat belts okay so there is actually a difference between the safety level of a seat belt and a car restraint on children because maybe some will argue I can use it belt but um, let's talk about facts no so what I um, read is that if you restrained a child 0 to 4 years old forward facing sa likod forward facing it will reduce the risk of injury to 50% if you change the direction of that, 0 to 4 years old, with the car seat rear-facing, it's minus 80% risk of injury. If you just use a seat belt for 0 to 4 years old, I don't know how would you do that, but there is apparently a data on this one. It would be minus 32 on the risk of injury. So you see the difference? Um, it just drops to 32 minus for the risk of injury. Now, for children aging 5 to 9 years old, and you have the right child restraint with the seat belt, you will have minus 52% risk of injury. If it's just he is just you he or she is just using this five to nine year old child is just using a seat belt then the risk uh, change the, the change in the risk of injury is only going to be minus 19 percent so you see there is a study that is actually supporting the safety of using car restraint seat so there should be no doubt that um, this rule in the philippines which is also not new um, in other parts of the world is in the right direction um, so what i have read is that um, there would be the full implementation of the republic act 11229 and they also call it in the philippines child safety in motor vehicles act and it would be implemented feb 2 2021 and in here it says children aged 12 and below must be properly secured in appropriate car seats while traveling in private motor vehicles and it is also being stated here um, that um, it is mandatory to have it a child restraint system in the car and this applies to children i have earlier said 12 years old and below with the height of four inches a uh, four feet 11 inches and that's equivalent to 100 um 50 centimeter um and that would be around 1.5 meters right um there are also of course standards on what should you buy uh, in terms of the quality required for a car seat to pass the requirement 
and what I can see in uh, what they mentioned here is that um, the DTI in the Philippines will somehow provide the people with a list of brands that they have already guaranteed or granted a Philippine standards mark or an import clearance certificate. Um, fines and penalties under the Child Safety in Motor Vehicles Act. So what will you pay if you do not follow the rule? So you are going to pay 1000 for the first offense. 2000 for the second offense and likewise if manufacturers distributors and sellers if they violate um, the rules related to production distribution importation substandard selling they will be fined 50 to 100,000 this is also uh, very good um, I think um, what I see when it comes to um, the implementation is the question related to the height must be reviewed, um, I guess, and should, should be um, considered just to make sure that um, uh, people will have no other concerns or yeah, pushbacks on this um, topic. Well, um, also, uh, just out of curiosity, I tried to check what is the average height of um, a Filipino. And I'm not sure if my data are fully correct. But what I can see is that the, uh, the average is around 156 centimeter. And if... Your, and if the qualification of um, the booster is that um, uh, you should be at least uh, 1.5 meter, I think it's, it's not anymore a child, but okay. I think there are some merits around that plea to review the, the age and, uh, and the height requirement and maybe... Maybe they would review that one. Yeah. So here in the Netherlands, um, you know the Duchess. The Duchess are really tall. And my height um, is actually only um, 100, um, close to 156 centimeter. And I need, <laughs> and I need to be honest that uh, the children here are actually the same size like me. They are really tall. So having said that, what they have in the rule that I can read from uh, the business.gov.nl, which is an official website, is that the child seats are obligatory for children smaller than 1.35 meter. It is the requirement is actually smaller than Philippines because Philippines is 1.5 meter. And depending on the size and weight of the child, there are three types of seat that you can use. You can use a baby seat, a child seat, or a booster seat. And they also outline very clearly what is the difference among these seats. So for Brutus, when I have delivered him, we need to use the baby seat and it is for 0 to 4 months, um, 40 to 83 centimeters. And then it should always be transported backwards for safety, uh, face, uh, rear facing uh, on, the back, uh, on the back seat. Child seat is the second one, which is for 15 months to 3 years. Um, and the height should be 60 to 105 centimeter. Booster seat is for 4 to 10 years old and um, for a height of 100 to 135 centimeter, so 1.35 uh, meter. And there is also a certain standards being followed here, and that's of course according to the European standards. And if let's say you are traveling 
um, across countries and you have a child and you use of course the child uh, car seat that is um, allowed in Netherlands because of the standardized law on this one then it's also acceptable in other parts um, of Europe like Germany um, Austria yeah um, and these child seats um, is applicable for private cars company cars three-wheeler cars with closed um, sides quad quadricycles um, when you should not use uh, the car seat so there are also situations that they are not um, that they are allowing not to use it so for example the first one is if you have already two seats on your car so two uh, two car seats in the car and no space for another one so the third child um, can actually have uh, if it's three years and older, can be transported on the back seat and wear a seat belt. In taxis without child seats, you are allowed to transport children with a height of 1.35 or taller on the back seat. Children age three and over wear a seat belt, and children under the age of three can sit on the parents' lap. In buses and coaches that operate on a timetable, and that have standing spaces as well as seats, in this case, seat belts are not obligatory either. And if you transport children that cannot be put in a child seat, for medical reasons, you can apply for an exemption. And if you transport children in a wheelchair, then um, you cannot, uh, of course, put all those. And um, this information is available centrally digitally and there are videos as well showing how to put your child properly into these car seats so guys that's all for sharing for today and i hope that you you find pieces of information that is also interesting for you i believe on this law yes it's additional cost but uh, being in the hospital for a lot of days because of an accident without guarantee that you will still be alive is more than the money that you will spend when you buy a car restraint seat for your child. Yeah? So I think it's worth the investment and I think it's good that uh, Philippines is going in the right direction for safety. And if there are little amendments here and there I think it's fine yeah so um, that's all mga kaprondi and I'm really happy that we are growing now as a family the truth is every subscriber that I am see adding up on the on the list uh, makes me legal nakakatawa po talaga and um, I hope uh, you still uh, are safe there and um, make sure to always follow the protocol forward for a brighter